बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट आई एम ग्लैड टू नो दैट केरला हैज लॉन्च ए मासिव डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन ड्राइव टू ब्रेक दिस इम्पास इफेक्टिव डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन विल मीट द चैलेंजेस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट आई एम श्योर द यूनिक पीपल्स प्लानिंग कैंपेन इन योर स्टेट हैज एड्रेस्ड दिस इशू increase in agricultural production and productivity by better use of local resources halting environmental degradation through local action improvement in delivery of services through local control and higher investment in priority areas through reduced leakages and the mobilization of local resources are the fruits of decentralization decentralization transfers power to the people it enlarges democracy by increasing the participation of the people the panchayat and urban local bodies should be seen as conduits for power to flow to the ordinary people they should not be seen as power centers but as trustees of the people as agencies of public service and as instruments of face to face democracy for decentralization to be effective it has to be free from corruption nepotism and patronage this can be done only if there is a scope for genuine people's participation control from below is the best check against possible abuse of power by local authorities the word participation is often used very loosely one has to be very clear about what it means there can be pseudo participation where people are got together only for the sake of official record there can be manipulative participation where people are collected for attainment of ulterior motives genuine participation involves not merely giving a voice or the freedom to air opinions grievances and demands it involves the power of choice that means people's right to decide what they want and their right to monitor the functioning of the government the gram sabha where all the electors get together becomes a critical institution of democratic decentralization however there is a danger of the gram sabha degenerating into a body of approvers or an idle group of persons organizing women is one of the best ways of avoiding this danger hence i see kerala as a furthering of the decentralization process and as a tool for empowerment of the poor dear friends the whole nation is watching this program with interest i assure my personal support and the support of the government in new delhi to the success of this project and its possible use elsewhere in matters relating to the nation's development there should be no politics I consider it a privilege to be present on this important occasion and I am not saying this in a manner of formality as prime minister of the country I am invited to attend many functions and inaugurate many programs each one of them is significant in its own way having a bearing on the social and economic development of our country but some programs carry a greater emotional content in them and give a deeper sense of personal satisfaction this is because any degree of success in these programs directly transforms itself into a smile on a child's face happiness in a suffering family and a sense of accomplishment in the community 
today's program is one of them as i inaugurate the national pilot project for early intervention to prepare the mentally challenged persons to integrate with family and community my heart is filled with a gratifying belief it is the belief that here is a good deed where the government can indeed show that it has the ability to make a difference in the lives of the most neglected and marginalized section of our society independent india has seen many distortions in the development process resulting in different kinds of inequalities in our society these inequalities have pushed the poor and several other sections of our population to the margins of our national life but when we look at the mentally challenged persons in our midst and i am using the term mentally challenged deliberately as a more suitable substitute to the description mentally retarded we find that they live on the margins of every section of society including those that are themselves marginalized bearing happy exception mentally challenged persons live a life of exclusion as much in a rich community as in a poor community with exclusion comes apathy and indifference and even callousness this deepens the distress of those suffering from developmental disabilities here i would like to draw attention to an important difference between the treatment a mentally challenged person receives within their family and the community family is still a strong institution in india even though it is coming under many negative pressures especially in cities and towns values such as love and care are still fairly deep rooted in the family structure hence mentally challenged persons receive affection and assistance in many families but the same cannot be said about the community the rapid erosion of a sense of caring and empathy in our community life is the most painful feature of present day social life in india this lack of caring and sensitivity manifests itself most starkly in the treatment given to disabled 